And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beholder. I've managed to stay out of being arrested for embezzlement several times. Now let's see if we can keep that up. Hopefully I won't uh, get killed or have any of my family die. Uh, fingers crossed, right? So we're talking to Ange Rothar now. Are you a volunteer? Yes, sir. Discuss the war. You want to go to war? Yes. Why exactly? Do you want to defend your country or be a hero? I just want to kill people and get away with it. War is the best idea ever. Damn my father. He made it so they won't draft me, but I dealt with this issue. Aren't you afraid of getting killed? I'll have the best weapons and protection. Dad will make sure of it. Worst case scenario, I'll use a live shield. So now we know that he is, uh, he, he wants to go to war. Let's go make a profile of him, shall we? <laughs> doodly doodly doo. I'm gonna write a report. And profile a tenant. I'm gonna talk about. Was it you? Ange Rothar. Is that enough? No, let's go and break into his apartment first. Since I know he's downstairs now. I wonder what our attic is doing up there. Wait, that's number six. I need to go to number one. Look inside, making sure that no one is there. Oh, he's back. Shit. Well, that's that then. Aloysia still lives here. Let's go to number four. See what Nora's doing. Click. Look inside. Nora is there. Let's talk to Leo. We'll see what happens. Ask what he wants. Do you want something? I need your help. <clears throat> I have to go to the administration offices tomorrow. There's going to be an award ceremony. I've never owned a suit. I bought a two-piece suit at the funeral shop, but there were no ties. The department store is also out of ties. Could you help me find a tie? Everyone will be okay. I just can't go shopping. I'll have to think of something. Wasn't there a government directive that says that you can't have ties? Fish, assembling, uh, foreign music, sell jeans, importing soda, apples, neckties, blue neckties, wasn't it? I swear there was one of those at some point. How you're not allowed to have blue neckties. Maybe that was in a game that I had already failed. Hmm. Well, find a tie for him, and he'll give you $300. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Top Hat! My compliments! Ask about the medicine. Leave spirit. I saw it on the list. It's an unusual request. $15,000 fucking dollars?! Oh, man! Really? God! Fifteen thousand dollars? Are you kidding me? I can't keep my. All right, I'll make a hundred bucks out of it if I buy him a tie. Buy him a blue tie. Check. Any other stuff I need? No. Who the hell are you? Ah, that's Antoine. New government directive. It's illegal to wear a blue tie. Son of a bitch! That's the one. Okay. Hello, Antoine. Uh, our mutual friends told me you're one of the best printing specialists around. I don't think we have mutual friends. Secrecy and other stuff. Sorry for bothering you. Fantastic. Well, uh, Leo. It's illegal to have ties right now. But 
it's there we go now that I know he's gone if it's up in his apartment I can find it put it on the thing and then report him so first let's case his joint Dumbbells do not lie idle. Check. Let's also install a camera. What else can I glean from his apartment? What can I spy? Mittens, hard hat, razor. Hmm. How about this chair? Making sure that Leo isn't coming back in. Fishing rod. Good. Factory access card. An access card's required for entry. Okay. Look at the telephone. What have you stored inside of your telephone somehow? A soccer ball. And some tooth... Well, a toothbrush. What about in your bed? Oh, I hope he's not going to find me in a stupid apartment. A robe, engine oil, and a book. How about in your... Radio? Dance music, a sweater, and a wrench. How about in here? A comb, some money... Smoking. And here, how about here? Oh, he's gonna find me. Get out, get out while you can. I have not seen him. about the city. What do you think about our city? It's quite good! He said that Helmer is a city of pipes. I took a tour of the machine tool factory today. You could teach us a lot. Do you believe the pipes in the factory are okay? Sure, it's smoking, so the factory is operational. That means people are working, the country will get rich, and life will improve. Oh, you, oh, oh, darling. Oh, darling. Well, let's write a report on him. Get some money out of it. Hopefully we'll make fifteen thousand fucking dollars somehow. Price fifteen thousand dollars? Are you kidding? Profiling. I'm gonna get. <clears throat> Mister Leo V's deck and this. Send it. Get me that money. Citizen Mark Rannick reported the bribery of an official. You tried to gain illegal access to the archive papers on Klaus Schimmer. You are issued a warning and a fine. Well, that was a lot of money that I just lost. Wait, hang on. Why are you guys leaving? You son of a bitch! You reported me? You piece of shit! You piece of shit! You guys are assholes! After all I've done for you! Well, repair it and let's move someone in. Looking to rent an apartment in a quiet place. Rent a room near the factory. Yep, we'll keep Rowena in. You guys are assholes! Real talk. Under suspicion, follow Antoine Grubick. Antoine, who lives in apartment number six, was it? Yeah. Click, knock. Hello, friendo. Okay, she's out. 
Dora's out so I can go in and look at her stuff. Hello, friendo. Ask what he wants. Do you need something? Got my money today, but I'm not sure I can manage it properly. Give me some advice. How should I spend my money? Well, I mean... They said they'd give me quite a good deal of money if I helped them. Hmm. Invest in cattle development? Alright, so what I have to do is make sure that he invests in horns and hooves. What about cattle development? You already know that we have problems with food in our country. I'm sure an investment in this will be highly profitable. Horns and hooves plan to implement a waste reproduction process so the meat will be sold and the rest will be jellied. In jellied meat? They want to make jellied meat our national dish. Are you sure that's a good idea? If I don't do it, though, they said that they were going to kill me or something, and I don't know if I trust whether or not they're going to kill me, but jellied meat will be our national cuisine someday. But I have made a decent amount of money now. Good. So let's look through this keyhole. Oh. Hello, friend. Ask about an important task. I'm a transient. I'm moving to a class B hostel in several days. What about the leaflets? You mean this one? It's a small task. I decided to do a print at home. It won't disturb the tenants. Well, let's go in then. I will talk to my son later. Hmm. Let's look at the things that are inside. Screwdriver. Razor. Ship model. Alright. Profiling this son of a bitch. Towels. Passport. Tennis kit. Blue shirt and a note. Let's look at the television. God, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, oh God. Is it legal to read or own a book? Holy crap, that's pretty intense. All right, well, door is out, so I can do this. Okay, now he's gone again, so I can go back out, or go back into his room in a minute. Oh, that was intense just now, though. Poof. Poof. Letters and a book. Okay, so Dora shouldn't have books anymore, so we can report her for that. I feel like such a dickbag doing this. Look at what else she's got going on. 80s music, illegal object, books, money. Go in over here, make sure that she's not coming back so that I don't get caught. Um, rat poison, huh? Telephone? Telephone. Patriotic songs and towels. Oh, is he back already? Book, cardigan, thimble, razor, purple bucks. Is it her? No, it's my son. Okay. My son who's, like, having a bad time because he's part of the mines now, but... I, what can I do to you, man? Cotton blouse, empty bottles. I think I might have missed something over here. Was it the table I missed? Oh god, she's coming back. Oh god, she's coming back. Get out, get out, get out. Is it this guy? It's this guy. I won't have a chance to... Well, let's go talk to Rowena while I've got a chance, then. Knock, knock. 
This game is so stressful. God, ah, uh, so stressful. Hello, friend. My name is Carl. I'm Rowena Petraki. I finally found a good apartment close to the plant. I work on the conveyor belt and grow very tired, so I don't have the energy to commute. I hope you enjoy it. Is the fire alarm in the apartment working? They work great. Why do you ask? I work at the plant and I like putting mechanisms together. Don't freak out if my apartment starts to smell like solder. Solder. Discuss the weather. It's going to get really cold soon. It gives me migraines because of the weather. No, because of the migraine. Discuss the work. Working on a conveyor belt is an interesting job. I assemble the engines for the appliances the state puts in its apartment buildings. You must think that's not feminine, but there are a lot of women at our plant. We host appliance assembly competitions, and women broke the record in the laundry machines category. Good. Do you compete in soup making contests? Very funny, Carl. Male humor. If housewives are governed the country, people wouldn't be hungry. Our shift manager is a woman, too. She's thinking of becoming a politician. Unlike male politicians who are unpleasant, female politicians are simply disgusting? What a shitbag! Because, just like Santa Claus, they are imaginary figures in our country. Your views on women are so broad, they're completely out of line. Your chauvinism is making my head hurt again. A headache? How typical. Go away, Carl! Do I just not like this person or something? Christ! Oh no, my wife has a book! Oh no, my wife has a book! What do you do? The ministry call, huh? Antoine Grubick, the traitor of the motherland, has been living in your house for an entire week. He's undercover agent in the revolution. You'll be punished for collusion. Your job is to watch and report everything that happens there. If you don't do this, you're either a traitor or asleep at the switch. That's intolerable. Consider yourself fine. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so Rowena's got books. My daughter is doing it too. Ah. Uh... Leuk Vizdek, blah -de blah -de blah this one. We've just made the choice for you, just bring the paper to the election headquarters? Elections suck, the scrap of paper is as valuable as a, sh as a sheet of used toilet paper. God, I feel like such a scumbag doing this. This game makes you be a scumbag. How gross is that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching me be a total dickbag to people. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can also follow my socials. That's the Facebook and Twitter down in the description box. And if you feel so moved, you can maybe take a look at my Patreon page and throw some support in my direction. That'd be super cool. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bang! Oh, shit. I didn't know it was loading.